Yes guys and welcome back to yet another video on the channel. Today I'm going to be addressing this 5212 formation. That's right. This video is going up a bit later today, but do not worry. It's still up and yet again I'm gonna be releasing a 532 tomorrow. So make sure you subscribe so you do not miss out on that. So without further ado, let's look at this formation. So as you can see here we've got the 5212 formation. Now you've got plenty of full, um, five backs um, in the game. In total, you've got four. You've got the 5 2 1 2, the 5 2 2 1, the 5 3 2, the 5 4 1. Now, you want to stay away from the 5 2 2 1, the 5 um, 4 1 as well. Now, this is because you've got wide players in the attack with these formations. There's absolutely no point in having a five back if you're going to go wide um, in the attack because your wing backs are there to do so already. So yeah, try and keep it narrow with a five back anyway. So let's get into the tactics now. Do not worry, these are not the tactics for the five back formation. These are actually probably most opposite um, tactics you can get. So with our defensive style, we are going to use balance as the same. As always, guys, we do not want to change our defensive style there. Our width is going to be 6 now, and so is our depth. Now, this formation is pretty attacking, guys. This is the most attacking 5-back in the game with a 5-3-2. You've got 3 centre mids. With this one, you've got 2 centre mids and 1 cam. So it's that little bit more attacking. So we do want to have a high width. We do want to have a depth. We do want to play that offside trap. With our friends to style though, we do use fast build up. Now, we do want to play fast build up with this formation um, for our centre mids, to our camps, to our strikers, to our wing backs. Um, it will flow through nicely, and you'll see in game why that makes a difference. With our attacking width, we will use 5. Now, our um, attacking width is definitely going to be lower than our um, defensive width. The reason why we use 6 on our defensive width and 5 on our attacking width is because when we're defending, it's easier to win the ball back. Um, when you're basically very wide, you can uh, make a counter-attack much quicker. Uh, but when you're when you're on the attack, you do want to okay, um, stay quite central. With your sentiments, camps and strikers, you do not want them getting out wide for no reason at all. Players in the box will be using 6. Now with the 5 3 I'll probably be using 5 because um, we do want to get basically every single centre mid or cam into the box of this formation. With the 5 3 though, it's a little less attacking, so I'll probably use 5. Corners 3, guys, and 3 kicks 2. Now I used to use 1 on the 3 kicks, but I definitely made, noticed a difference where I had a, um, a free kick in a wide position and I couldn't cross it in because there was absolutely nobody in the box, so I now use 2. So guys, as you can see here, the 5-2-1-2 formation, a very attacking formation to be using. So, in instructions, we're going to have stay forward, stay central, and get in behind, and that is going to be on both of our strikers. Definitely the best thing to do. Cam's going to have getting to box on. And again, very, very simple there. Centre mids, cover centre, um, and get into box across. Now, I forgot to tell you why our cam actually going to have the instructions he does on them. Now... Normally, I'll go stay forward on my cam, but because we've got two strikers in this formation, there's absolutely no need for another um, player to go out the pitch. You've already got them for each other. They can already do one-twos with each other, so our cam can still um, get back and forward. So it's very, very useful there. Centre halves default default wing backs balance balance balance. Um, now we do not want to use um, get join the attack on our full backs, otherwise they will not get back. If we use stay back while attacking again, they will not get forward. So Balance attack is definitely the best thing to do because they get forward and back depending on the situation. With our goalkeeper, we are going to have comes crosses and sweeper keeper. Definitely 100% the instructions you should be using with your goalkeeper. He's going to play far more aggressive, punch the ball out corners, catch the ball. And in total, he's going to save you a lot more goals. So guys, that is the 5212 formation. If you did like this video, it would be greatly appreciated. You could subscribe as it really helps the channel grow. I've also noticed a difference in subscribers recently, and I'm very, very grateful for that. Anyway, guys, have a nice day, have a nice week, and goodbye.